Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is sleep method in java.lang.thread class. Very simple. So, first let me write the title. What is sleep method in java.lang.thread class? If you want to pass our thread up to some particular period of time, then we should call this sleep method on top of the thread object, sleep of 0 argument. So, what is sleep method in java.lang.thread? It will pass or stop or placed into wait state up to some particular period of time, up to some particular period of time. So, that is the advantage of sleep. It will pass or stop or placed into wait state up to some particular period of time is called sleep method. See guys, basically we have two sleep methods we have two sleep methods, we have two sleep methods, let me show you those, java p java dot lang dot thread, java p java dot lang dot thread. So, let me search those methods, sleep method, yes, there are two sleep methods, one is sleep with a single argument, another one is sleep with a double argument. Both the methods are throwing exception like uh, interrupted exception. Both the methods are throwing exception like what here? Interrupted exception. Both are what? Static methods itself. Both are static methods and uh, one is uh, developing by using native language code, another one is by using Java language code. Okay. Now, observe here, there are two sleep methods, sleep of, sleep of single argument and a sleep of double argument, sleep of single argument, sleep of double argument and both are static methods, both are, both are static methods. So, both are static methods means we can call, we can call, we can call this method by using class name like what here thread, by using, by using class name like thread. Okay. And these two are throwing checked exception or compile time exception or compile time exception that is java dot lang dot illegal java dot lang dot interrupted exception java dot lang dot interrupted exception java dot lang dot interrupted exception do not worry I will highlighting the example on top of interrupted exception also. Sleep method will stop our pause or placing our thread into wait state some particular period of time. So, whatever the time we are giving under the argument place that much of milliseconds our thread is going to in the pause mode. Now, the general syntax to call, the general syntax to call sleep method is thread dot sleep, thread dot sleep some 5000 milliseconds. Now, let me show you this one. Let me show you some small program on top of this sleep method. So, there is a one class test class. In the test class, I am taking in the test class, I am taking main method. In the test class, I am taking main method, main method, and here I am writing like I am writing one for loop int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus i plus plus. Now, here I am executing that uh, for loop up to 10 times, for loop up to 10 times, here I am writing some code like system dot, system dot out dot println, system dot out dot println, main method I am going to executing 
thread dot current thread dot thread dot current thread dot get name thread dot current thread dot get name if you observe the output of this program if you observe the output of this program let me right click run as java application we will get output like what main method is executing how many times 10 times within the fractions of seconds now i'm going to use i'm going to use uh, here thread dot sleep thread dot sleep and 3000 millisecond thread dot sleep is going to throw some exception that is either we can use try and catch or we can use throws keyword so in this example i'm using throws keyword what is that interrupted exception interrupted exception yeah now executing this program previously we will get output within the fractions of second but now observe for loop executing one time and waiting for 3000 milliseconds again second state second time executing and waiting for some milliseconds and fourth time executing waiting so like this up to some particular period of time if you want to pause our thread we should go for concept like sleep method we should go for concept like what here sleep method now observe here this is by using a uh, single thread let me develop a program on top of uh, uh, let me use sleep method on top of user defined thread let me use sleep method on top of user defined thread observe here clearly if any thread which is going to executing that this statement thread that thread will go and place into where here pass mode now if you want to make our class as a thread class we should write extents of uh, thread extents of thread now here i'm overriding if you want to execute any logic by the user defined thread that logic must and should be part of uh, run method either directly or indirectly now let me save the code and write here now we will get a uh, error so sleep method will throwing uh, some exception interrupted exception so here we can't write a uh, throws keyword here we can't write uh, throws what is that interrupted exception if you're writing like this a compiler will giving error compiler will giving error the reason is in the super class run method super class run method super class run method nothing but thread class run method doesn't having any throws keyword observe thread class run method doesn't throwing any exception so whenever we trying to override the run method don't use throws keyword then what is the alternative sir the alternative is what try and catch better to place this data into try and catch blocks try and catch blocks good now what i'm doing first this try block executing and ended with the semicolon and after the thread dot sleep so 3000 milliseconds will place who is executing this run method who is executing this run method use a different thread now let me pause here now let me pause let me call let me create an object for test test t equal to new test test t equal to new test t dot start t dot start and let me give some name for our class set name set name like what here nit set name like nit on top of that i am calling the start method so what happened run method is going to executes run method is going to executes uh, run method is going to executing by the user defined thread and first i equal to 1 yes 1 less than are equal to 10 true then control goes to body of the for loop now first this statement will executing and printing like what run method colon what is that nit now my nit thread is calling this statement once any thread or nit thread calling this statement that thread will go into go on place into where sleep mode that thread go and place into where your sleep mode see observe here run method is executing by nit 3000 millisecond pass mode again one more time run one more time run so we can apply the sleep method not only on main thread we can also apply on top of what here user defined thread we can apply this sleep method on top of any thread so these are the two examples uh, which we have related to sleep method i hope you understand how to pause the thread by using sleep method for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you